with the same information we are able to update the software please wait it may take several minutes for the latest software to download i know that who use fdr are responsible to use in a legal and safe manner uh, fdr is a global tool used in many countries and legal jurisdictions when you use fdr you are responsible finally i was able to log in successful <clears throat> you see now everything everything look okay language english info simulation or simulation simulation of favorite okay beautiful enable disable auto minimize i don't need that one so what you have everything is okay okay mdi2 okay so now here read vin from the vehicle okay I will click here. That's the VIN number. I will say go. Beautiful. This is used by a lot of company, a lot of places uh, in the world. And I just try to log into it to program this steering lock merge, steering column system. Okay, download information is okay. Here is performing network test reading modules. Voltage is 14 point something. Okay. <clears throat> this is a new system, guys. Download is already done. That means with the same $50 uh, for two days, you can download all the software and program this car perform network submit vehicle information you're gonna wait wow here you see <clears throat> okay this is maybe the modules until I break you have some codes okay here the information of the car okay here is all computers are inside with the quotes yellow one that they have quotes you want to view the DTC toolbox those are the DTC that inside the system hmm. left front wheel speed sensor left front wheel speed sensor ok they have some problem ABS steering wheel position sensor linear Lost communication switch invalid hood switch okay those are codes you see power steering we need initialization and configuration is not yet that's one of our problem now We have some code on the driver frontal restraint sensor. Now I'm gonna go back to do one thing more. Where is the power steering column? Maybe this is a different way of communication and doing the work. Let me go down. To power steering.
in the initial configuration on this one I double click on it hopefully it's gonna take me to another okay not complete okay, let me click on it and see what you need okay I can't see nothing there let me see what I have in toolbox toolbox programmable module features which one you look for this one Wow, power steering controller module, power steering controller module software update, power controller installation, and power control module configuration. So, what do you want me to do now? I already have the codes, so let me network monitor self test. I already have it. Download the first one. run launching application download software this is a new technology we have to learn to take our time I'm downloading the software into this car power steering control module software update before commencing this procedure connect the vehicle battery suitable battery do not disconnect the cable from the battery now I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to turn the key on only. Ignition is on. Okay, turn this one off. Okay, I will say yes. Okay. I'm programming the engine computer. Power steering control is a software update. If anything, it will show here. That's a good software. <clears throat> internal operation to read out of 106 after that maybe we're gonna go back and see what is the options but uh, I believe this is all what I have today I'm trying to get through this <laughs> programming the first time using the FDRS um, FD FDRS yeah FDRS and F FGS FGRS you can use your path through device it will ask you what tool you want to use this is a good idea Meanwhile, I, I don't want to cut this one, but I want to show you what was what is a power steering control module internal operation hmm. service advanced truck. Today. So we are updating, updating the software. 
see it's in progress hmm. block 29 of 38 that's a lot maybe you don't need to program it you just need to configure it but it is better to program it with the right software the same subscription wow. so fourth shift all the way from VCI 1, VCI 2 VCI 3 and now VMM After you buy the subscription, you have to be online to log in to log online to do the programming. Those for the newer cars, you cannot do it just by <clears throat> steering assist fault. We did not finish programming yet. Checking download. good fourth they have i like for uh, the american car for their simplicity oh so they do all the stuff turn the ignition off i did turn the ignition off i will press okay press okay to continue i'm gonna turn the ignition on It's done. Okay, now I have one. I did that one already. This one, you see, is done already. So we finish this. We have to do this. PCM power steering control module configuration. It's not done yet. So I gotta download this. gonna download it and configure it after that we can go back we want to run it yes I'm doing the configuration this is for power steering control module. Turn the ignition off. Press OK. Application finish. Put the key on. Okay, everything is done. Self test. Clear and test again. I want to clear all this. Everything passed left front enhanced interior lighting system we have one code there other than that everything pass or receiving data oh let me see i 
I did. Okay, let me see what does that mean. Turn the ignition off, wait, leave it a little bit, and then we see what, what that means. But anyhow, this is the idea of how you, you calibrate um, those power steering data and uh, calibrate it and use the FDR to program the newer cars. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Please subscribe, share, and like, and see you in another video. This is Muhammad Hab, Brooklyn, New York, United States of America. Thank you.